Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I came across an article that I found to be really interesting and encouraging. And it's about the company Philips and how they're embracing 3D printing by allowing people to print replacement parts for some of their products. Now, it's just getting started, so it's not a whole lot there right now, but it does open up the door to some possible more replacement parts that you can make for yourself in the future. So real quick, let's take a look at this article here. And the title is Philips Fixables. That's the name of the program. Empower consumers with 3D printable repair parts. Now, this is a partnership with Prusa Research. Yes, that Prusa Research and LePub. And as it says here, it's going to give users open access to 3D printable parts, turning product maintenance into a creative circular solution. Now, I'm not going to read this entire article here, but I will leave a link in the description where you can check it out. But just some uh, important points of this is right here in this paragraph where it says at the core of the initiative will be a digital library of open access 3D printable replacement parts for selected Philips products, which will become broadly available. So you can go on printables.com and then there is an account for Philips uh, fixables right there. And they offer so far three different files that you can print. They're going to be replacement guards for their one blade product. And when new replacement parts become available, you'll be able to get them from the Philips Fixables platform. And they're also going to be made available on principles.com. And it also says that this is just an initial pilot program that will launch in Chechnya, supported by a global site, which is accessible for all with additional market expansions expected. So here is the page on principles. And as you can see, this is a replacement part for the one blade, the one to three millimeter cones. And this is really easy to print. They give some recommended parameters here. You print it out of PLA. They give you the layer height that you should have. They tell you what infill that you should have. And this does not require any supports. And then the compatible one blade models are right here as well. So you see there are currently three files. There we go, three files available. Now, I happen to be a one blade user myself, so I took those three files and I decided to print them myself. And I printed the three of these on the Bamboo Lab A1. So this is the number three guard right here. And this is the original guard that came with it, the one that's made out of plastic. So if I can just kind of bring these two together, you can see their similarities in their size but how do they fit well i've got my one blade right here so let's just run through these guards here is the number one that one snaps into place pretty good let's take that out moving on to number two satisfying snap for number two and then number three all right so they all snap in pretty easily and that's compared to the original blade that goes on. That's also pretty easy to uh, snap on. I will say that the original blade goes on a little bit quicker, a little bit smoother, I would say. Not as much pressure needed to get it to uh, snap into place. But with the replacement 3D printed ones, it's still not bad at all. All right, but uh, let's give this a try. I'm going to use the number three here. I'll put the number three on and uh, do some light shaving right over here. I'm not going to do too much because I'm going to get hair in here. Yeah. All right. I'm looking down on my shirt, I definitely have some hair. You're going to have to trust me. I do have some hair clippings right here. You can see some hair on the black on the back of this uh, guard as well. But it totally does work. So, yeah, this is really cool. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I've seen some replacement guards before for the one blade that just regular people from the community have come up with, as well as some other accessories for this device as well. I 3D printed a holder for my bathroom for the one blade, and it's a place where you can just set it down. And then it also has a few places for the guards as well. So I think that that is very, very handy. But it's also really nice to see in a 
official design put forth by the company that made this device to embrace 3D printing and the ability for you to fix things in the comfort of your own home without having to pay more money to get official replacement parts that they make themselves. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what products that you have that you would love to see different companies embrace 3D printing with and come up with files that you can download and print off replacement parts yourself instead of just having to buy a whole new whatever. I'm really interested to know that. So uh, good on Philips and Prusa and Le Pub for putting this together. And hopefully we'll see more of this stuff in the future. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.